All right, first uh, supercharging complete. Sorry, I didn't film this. I will film it later. Uh, Beamer's a little cranky back here, wishing he would have got some food. He got a little snack, an interesting adventure. Not quite sure if this is for us or not. We haven't really determined yet. Caitlin absolutely adores the car, but I don't know if I'm sold on the whole, like having to sit there for 30 minutes and charge thing and it taking us four hours to get to a two hour destination, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm not rolling it out. It's still a very cool car. I still like it, but um, yeah, it's just a little update. Um, here we are, and we're uh, driving. We're already at 99%. We just left the thing. 98. 98. Yep, <laughs> love that. Thanks for pointing that out, hon. All right, folks, update. We are doing the uh, full self-driving. I'm not really touching anything here. I um, have to keep my hand on the wheel, but I'm doing this for a little video. We are um, coming through Georgia right now, about coming outside of Atlanta. We are about an hour from our next charging station with 58%. So, uh, yeah, I, um, that's our first initial review with the uh, Tesla and um, all about it. Folks, we're in Atlanta buildings all around. Welcome to beautiful Atlanta traffic. Ah. Welcome to Atlanta. Carvana, look at the Atlanta machine. But anyway, this is uh, Atlanta, folks. You've never been here. All right, folks, our pickup is complete. We have a 22X4 Elite and a 8XE Elite. I'm um, super happy with these guys. I don't know what it is with the A-scale boxes. It's just like they are all beat up and everything, but I mean, it's all good. Uh, picked with these two bad boys. This guy is fully built with electronics. I'll go into details on that later. This guy has not been built yet, so we got to finish building him and put him together, and I'm super excited about it. This one has one race day on it, and there's no scratches on the bottom of the chassis. It was ran on a carpet track, and it's just freaking cool. This is going to be Caitlin's race car. This is going to be mine or Brad's loaner, whichever one we want to do. Super good haul. Femur is again back here sleeping. Caitlin's driving now. She's taking up the driving. In Atlanta. Uh, in Atlanta. Um, it's heck of traffic, so um, that's fun. What's that? I don't know what that is. Like a uh, torch? All right, boys, here is my mildly assembled car. We have everything kind of laid out in here, and this is exactly what the car is going to look like. We got the Reds 721 scoot area in there. This thing is beautiful with the pipe. Look at that beautiful masterpiece. Damn! Coming over from the other side, we are running Savox servos. We are running a ProTech receiver pack and Futaba receiver on this bad unit, and I am super excited to get involved with that one. Next, we have Caitlin's e-buggy right here. We are very excited to get this thing put together, waiting on a few components left to throw some shocks in this car. As soon as all those parts come in, we're going to get this bad boy assembled. She is lightly used, but not abused, and I know she's going to love it. Diving into the little tent scale buggy. Well, this is a low C 22 X4 Elite. This is a little four wheel drive tent scale. A really nice system in this thing. 6.5 turn motor, hobby wing essentials, ProTech servo, all of the good stuff in this bad boy as well. Three days later. All right, we are uh, loaded. We need a uh, enclosed trailer. This is new for now. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, there's wife in the TLR shirt. Matt, pit crew. Justin, racer. We're um, in the heavy Chevy heading down the interstate. We're um, going to get there eventually. The enter of a state, yeah. We're entering a state. We're, we're entering, yeah, I don't know what state we're entering, but we're entering one. Why well, it's called interstate because you enter states with that type of road? Hmm. Hmm. Think about it. I think it's enter because it's like between states because enter means between. I-N-T-R means between. Hmm. Uh, what about like highway, county road? Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Mm. Hot sauce, grape jelly, or jam, whatever you want to call it. Mm. On what occasion? Cream flavored bacon combo. Mm. Mm. What you got there? Some food. That's dead. That's good though. Hey, can you mute Drake now? This interview, how are we feeling? Three on lap number Shiver one. Shivering in the bridges. Shivering in the bridges. Whose glasses are these? They're looking pretty stylish. These are Justin's. That's oh, why oh, they're a bit. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. These are mine. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, classic on, Matt. What are you? Oh, no glasses? Coming up oh. on the 30 to go. Mark Lewis yeah. is on the track ahead of the double in front of the stand. All clear. It's, it's like um, all the 33 5 that is. time. Caitlin's car is very angry. I put holes in it. Very angry. Very solid chassis protector. Me and Justin painted a wing last night. It's a, it's a, it's a paint job. Looks pretty good. She likes it. That's all that matters. QCRC. So 
cars are absolutely filthy. A great day of racing. Diesel thinks the exact same thing. Boys, it has been a week. It has been a week of racing. It has been a week of preparing for a race. We went out to our local track, the Hobby Connection in Easley, South Carolina. Went and checked that place out. I love that place. Love that place. It's very good. The people are so nice inside. They have a full hobby stop as well on site. A dirt oval, a concrete oval, a dirt track. It's just what more could you ask for? Went out there, took Justin for his first time, took Matt for his first time, and took my wonderful wife, Caitlin. Took them for their first time at an actual RC racetrack. So it was a bittersweet moment. It was great. Everybody had a blast. So my previous video was how good are RC race cars off Marketplace? You can check that out right here. And in that video, I went over Justin and Sebastian's car. We kind of looked at my car in a box and kind of looked over the general basis of it, but we didn't really dive into my car. And we definitely did not go into Caitlin's car. Caitlin's cars. Caitlin has two cars, so. What? Our cars did phenomenally. I could not be happier with them. Went through everything on this one. Every nut, bolt, nook, and cranny looked it over. I'm very happy I did. Went over her car as well, went through all the diffs, the shocks, and everything, made sure I had a good setup on here for her that was a good basis so she could learn to drive on. Turned out being awesome. We got the car a little hot, so I opted to get her a fan. Off in the little body there, made a little angry face, so we get some airflow through this body. Get her wings so she could see it a little better. Wasn't able to run much, unfortunately, so I didn't get a lot of filming. The novice class there was very weird. She got thrown in with seven eight-scale electric buggies and I think one slash, and the slash didn't stay... For the other two like the second heat or the main either she left after the first heat and i was like i'm really sorry you can drive my car but the car's gonna get broken it just was not good i did not like the way they set that up and these kids were not novice now they said that the one kid had like raced four times or something like that so he's technically novice but dude he whipped around the track almost as fast as i did like he was a he was quick there's a couple other people in there just sandbagging so it really unfortunately wasn't a good experience for caitlin i don't feel like she got the most that she could have out of the whole experience and i kind of felt bad for her so i'm really itching to get her back out there get her some practice days at the qcrc raceway and kind of get her out there and more of queen and learn how to angle the jumps learn how to set the car up into the corner she just needs more practice guys she was doing phenomenally out there it's a big track kind of scary when you get that back corner right there and you kind of get lost in it for a moment but she did phenomenally i'm happy with her but we think we're going to upgrade her to the eight scale we think the 10 scale may be a little too small and finicky for her where i thought that would be good and it technically would be at the end of the day to help teach her driving lines and show her like what upsets the car and what doesn't because these are a lot more forgiving than the smaller 10 scale stuff but over time, it's just seeming like I think the eight skills will be easier for her to learn how to drive on. And it may be easier for her in the long run. So we're going to start her out on the beautiful TLR Elite X e-buggy. And um, I think this will be a phenomenal car for her. I think she'll love it. Um, I was a little skeptical of like I was telling you guys about going from a pillow ball car to a caster car. But I really didn't have any issues. It was a little bit harder to get the car to rotate, I'll admit. But I think that's just my setup. I think I need to go a little bit thinner diff all in the rear and it will kind of help free that car up and let it rotate more throughout the corner because I kind of like to come into a corner and let the car just sling around and pull itself through. Whereas with this setup right now, I kind of had to slow down and let the car like kind of the front pull the car through and I'm not really used to that. I'm more used to like the back kind of giving and then pushing the car, which I guess the front would be pulling there too. So I'm not really sure. I'm just, I'm not 110% sold on my setup, but I did. the engine is phenomenal we did our final break in right before we left and it was great using these old tires i got from billy these are uh, some beta cubes and they did so good like you can see they're bald now but i ran these things the whole entire day and they were phenomenal I, I, i'm really happy with them i rotated them once and ran them in the main and we did phenomenal and hopefully getting her in the eight scale will give her more confidence and give her like more feeling she's not going to break something and kind of be scared to break something i don't want her to feel that way we just didn't have a lot of parts for this thing as well eight scales are just they're kind of indestructible almost. They're really hard to break something. And we literally ordered every single part we could imagine. Boys, that's all I got for this one. I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the giant like button. Hit subscribe. If you're feeling a little bit frisky, hit that notification bell. Let us know what races you guys are going to. I'll drop some links down below to Live RC, and we'll drop some other stuff of our local tracks. You can join our local Facebook group, Southeast RC Racing. That'll check all of the races that we're going to in our local community. We're also going to be traveling to Georgia. I think we're going to do a Georgia shootout series at, I think, September through December. So we're going to be doing that. Check that out. It's going to be really cold. So we are in the process of trying to find a toy hauler. We're going to do an enclosed trailer like we used to have, but I'm thinking the toy hauler with a shower, you know, having a wife now, having dogs, and I, I just think that fits more. So we're going to look for a toy hauler. You know anybody? Drop a comment down below. Let me know. Boys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys, and I will see you next.